Hello, boys and girls. Thank you for joining me in music class. It's so nice to see you again. Let's begin our music class. Head and shoulders, baby, what? Shoulders, baby, one, two, three. Head and shoulders, head and shoulders, head and shoulders, baby, one, two, three. Knees and ankles, baby, one, two, three. Knees and ankles, baby, one, two, three. Knees and ankles, knees and ankles, knees and ankles, baby, one, two, three. I ain't been to Frisco, I ain't been to school, I ain't been. But I ain't no fool To the front, to the back To the side, side, side To the front, to the back To the side, side, side To the side, side, side To the side, side, side Throw the ball, baby One, two, three Throw the ball, baby One, two, three Throw the ball, throw the ball Throw the ball, baby One Push the button, baby, one, two, three. Push the button, baby, one, two, three. Push the button, push the button, push the button, baby, one, two, three. I ain't been to Frisco, I ain't been to school, I ain't been to college, but I ain't no fool. The tuba is the largest and deepest pitch brass instrument. The tuba, uncoiled, is about 18 feet long. That's almost the length of a school bus. The tuba has, you guessed it, a mouthpiece, a bell, valves, and tuning slides. And the tuba sounds like this. The first day of the Chinese New Year begins on the new moon that appears between January 21st and February 20th. In 2021, the first day of the Chinese New Year is on Friday, February 12th, which is the year of the ox. Enjoy this traditional Chinese song. Bye. 
These musicians are performing the song with traditional string Chinese instruments. My Family Plays Music by Judy Cox, illustrated by Elbright Brown. This is my family. We all love music. This is my mom. She plays fiddle in a country and western band. She plays in honky tonks and sings sad songs about broken hearts while people dance real slow. When I play with her, I play the tambourine. This is my dad. 
He plays cello in a string quartet. He sits on stage at Symphony Hall in a black tailcoat and a white bow tie. When I play with him, I play the triangle. This is my sister Emily. She plays clarinet in the marching band. We cheer and wave as she struts down Main Street in the big parade. When I play with her, I play the cymbals. This is my brother Paul. He plays lead guitar in a rock and roll band. He wiggles and he spins and he shakes when he plays for the dance in the high school gym. When I play with him, I play the cowbell. This is my Aunt Saffron. She plays vibes in a jazz combo. She plays soft, cool sounds at the Blue Note Club. Her hands dance the mallets up and down the bars. Pong, pong, ping. When I play with her, I play the wood block. This is my Uncle Woody. He plays saxophone in a big band. He blows swing tunes at the Paragon Ballroom while dancers glide beneath the flashing mirror ball. When I play with him, I play the maracas. This is my grandma. She plays banjo in the bluegrass band. She picks mountain melodies for folks who sit on folding chairs and tap their toes to the spunky beat. When I play with her, I play the jug. This is my grandpa. He plays tuba in a polka band. He dresses in lederhosen and a hat with a feather. His cheeks puff out round and red as he blows oom pa pa oom pa pa. When I play with him, I play rhythm sticks. This is my great-grandmother. She plays the pipe organ in St. Peter's Cathedral. On Sunday morning, we sit straight and still as she pumps out music that swells like waves. When I play with her, I play the handbell. This is my cousin Dean. He plays bongos at the Full Ear Cafe. He slips his drums between his knees and raps and pats them with his hands, keeping the beat while people recite poems that don't rhyme. When I play with him, I play wind chimes. This is my niece Sadie. She plays pots and pans, drumming on them with a wooden spoon. She plays loud. When I play with her, I play the big soup kettle.
This is me. I play tambourine, triangle, cymbals, cowbell, woodblock, maracas, rhythm sticks, handbell, wind chimes, and soup kettle. Daddy says I'm a percussionist. This is my family. We all love different kinds of music, but we all love one another, and when we get together, we celebrate! In this tale, Quaver will be playing the role of Bach. Determination makes anything possible. Whoa, this is tough. Now, let's try with four. Whoa, that was disaster. Right, what I really need to do is practice to get good at it. What I need is determination. Dun, dun, dun. Determination is setting your mind to do something and not stopping until that something is done. Whether it's learning to tie your shoelaces or building a life-size model of Abraham Lincoln out of bubblegum, it all takes determination. Now, if you ever wanted to find a composer that had determination, it would have to be Johann Sebastian Bach. Bach lived from 1685 to 1750 in a town called Lenneburg, Germany, with his big brother. Bach loved music and wanted to be a great composer. Now, he heard that 30 miles away from his town, there was a brilliant organist named J.A. Reinken. Yes, I am the brilliant organist J.A. Reinken. Come and see me play sometime, why don't you? Bach wanted so badly to hear Reinken play, he thought about him, he dreamed about him, he even sang about him. I love J.A. Reinken, I love J.A. Reinken, let's sing that line again, I love J.A. Reinken. Bark wanted to go and see him, but back in Bark's day, 30 miles was a very, very long journey. There were no aeroplanes, no cars, no trains, no mini scooters, no motorbikes, no rollerblades, and no feet. <coughs> Correction, there were feet. Sorry. So guess what Bark decided to do? It's amazing! Listen to this! I know it's so unusual! He decided to walk! Yes, walking! He used his feet! He walked the 30 miles himself! He was determined. At a walking pace of 5 miles an hour, it would have taken Bark, um, well, approximately, it would have taken him 6 hours. Bark walked and he walked and he walked past all kinds of people and all kinds of places until he was finally there. He listened to the great J.A. Reinken and indeed he was a brilliant organist. I told you I am a brilliant organist. But that's not the end of the story. After listening to the great Reinken play, Bark had to walk back home. On his journey home, Bark became hungry and incredibly tired. He spotted a restaurant and a lady who was too full to finish the fish she was eating. I just can't eat a novel thing. So she threw the fish head onto a pile of rubbish. Bart looked both ways. He tiptoed over to the rubbish pile and took the fish heads for food. As he checked to see if there was still any meat left, a miracle happened. Cue heavenly music. As Bark looked inside both the fish heads, his eyes lit up, his face turned from tiredness to joy, and his tired feet started doing a happy jig, and he started shouting, Oh, it's a miracle! It's a miracle! Everyone in the restaurant thought he'd gone mad! But what they didn't know was hidden in the fish heads were two coins. Thank you, God! Thank you for lady who couldn't eat anymore! Thank you, fish heads! I could kiss you, fish heads! Maybe not. 
Bark's determination had paid off and he knew that his next journey to hear J.A. Reinken Remember me? I am the brilliant organist J.A. Reinken would be a lot more comfortable. So, be like Bark. Be determined. Keep going. Don't let things stand in your way and you never know what unexpected surprises you might encounter on the way. Determination can pay off. Literally. Boys and girls, this concludes our music class. Stay safe and I'll see you next time!